As you've seen in recent weeks, CBC News has launched a special project dedicated to cases of murdered and missing Indigenous women in Canada. Now, after watching some of our reports, a sister and brother in Manitoba have come forward to tell the story of their mother, Diana Rattlesnake. Her murder remains unsolved. They spoke with the CBC's Megan Fiddler. Diana Rattlesnake's death in 2004 went relatively unnoticed. Her family says there were a few articles in the local media, but not much attention from police. Her son Jeremy Hanska has a theory why. Probably because she's Aboriginal and had her demons. And they just saw her as a statistic and not as a human being. Anna remembers a loving mother who took them to powwows in hockey games. She's always laughing, joking around, always taking care of her family. Rattlesnake had been in the paper before, then known as Wilma Hanska. After years of abuse, she shot her husband in the back, killing him. She was sentenced to four years. Her children were sent to live with their grandpa. Growing up, I did my best to try and block it out. After serving her sentence, Rattlesnake moved the family to Brandon, a new start. But another violent relationship followed. He used to beat her up all the time. Anna tried to protect her mom. A couple times I did, and I ended up like fighting him back because I like I got sick of him seeing my mom all the time with bruises all over her. In October 2004, she was found dead in a Brandon rooming house. The Hanskas say her body was so badly decomposed, police couldn't pinpoint the day she died. It was painful. I to have both of your parents murdered. Anna points to another Brandon murder, Aaron Chorney's, and the effort Brandon police put into solving the case. They did a big sting operation and my mom pretty much got nothing done. Rattlesnake's file is still open, but Brandon police say they're waiting for leads to come in. Anna gave up years ago on calling for updates. They should be trying to ask, you know, ask around and ask other people, you know, maybe someone will come forward now that so many years have passed. But they don't. More than a decade later, Anna and Jeremy look over one of the few things they have left from their mother. Not that we can hold her anything, but we'll always have her writing. Inside, words from a woman who wanted out and was looking for the strength to do it. If life knocks you down, the best thing you can do is get back up. A strength her children are using now to share her story. Because I see all the missing and murdered women, and I think my mom should, you know, her picture should be out there too because they believe their mom deserves better. Megan Fiddler, CBC News, Portage La Prairie. CBC News will continue to investigate missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls, exploring the stories of their lives, their families, and their communities. You can read more at cbc.ca slash Aboriginal.